Today on Earth Focus, tracking the pace of Alaskan glacier melt. Jeff Barbie reports, coming up on Earth Focus. On the edge of the Gulf of Alaska, straddling the icy border with Canada in the Coast Range Mountains, lies the Juneau Ice Field. This is the fifth largest expanse of ice covering the planet and is the source area for hundreds of glaciers. The Juneau Ice Field Research Program, or JERP, has been studying these mighty rivers of ice since 1946 to better understand how our planet's natural environments are changing and what this means to our common future. And actually, there's a little bit of complexity as to why we use glacier ice. I came here as a science student 23 years ago and returned to work here this summer as a part-time staff member. Like other jerpers, as we call ourselves, this project launched my interest in the natural world and continues to inspire my science reporting. Each year, a group of science researchers crosses this vast area like I did, getting a chance to learn how to survive and conduct research in this, one of the most wild classrooms in North America. Supported and staffed by the Foundation for Glacier and Environmental Research, the Juneau Icefield Research Program has some of the longest running glacial climate records in the world and is a treasure trove of valuable data about how our world's climate is changing. I'm here at Camp 17 on the Juneau Icefield, and I'm going in to have a quick word with Dr. Anthony Art. He's from the University of Alaska in Fairbanks, and he's one of the guys who designed the latest satellite imagery systems for NASA to understand the mass balance of this ice field. Glaciers respond immediately to any changes in climate. Their variations in their mass are determined directly by how much snow falls on them in the wintertime and how much ice and snow melts away due to warmer temperatures in the summertime. So by monitoring glacier variations, we can understand a lot about climate systems. And so they're one of the first sort of early hallmarks of climate change on the planet. Dr. Arndt helps create high resolution computer models of glaciers like this one, using data from satellites, airplanes, and deep snow pits like these to develop a clear picture of our future global climate. 95% of Alaskan glaciers are melting at an unnatural and unprecedented pace. Glaciers are really large contributors to changing sea levels. We want to be able to quantify how much water is coming out of these systems every year and then use that information to develop models and predict in the future to help policymakers plan for potential effects of sea level change in the next 50 or 100 years. Scientists like Dr. Arndt come here to conduct research and to share their experience with the young and upcoming researchers taking part in the program. To collect the ground data that sophisticated high-tech science depends on, students have to cross vast distances through the isolated heart of the ice field. In order to traverse the ice field safely, we train them extensively for the dangers of this rugged field experience. Here at Camp 17, they learn adventure skiing, safe glacier travel on a rope, and how to rescue a colleague from a crevasse. The training equips and inspires these students for a career in extreme environmental research, collecting data that the global scientific community depends upon to further the understanding of our changing world. This is just a useful tool in itself. First off, we practiced tying knots. That was like the basis of all of this. And then from those knots, then we learned different ways to use the knots on a rope, which then you learned how to ski with a rope team and what to do in case something bad happens on a rope team, like a fall into a crevasse, and how to save a team member that has fallen. After science and safety training at Camp 17, the participants start their traverse across the ice field, doing field work in geology, glaciology, climate change, and other disciplines. Uh, 
And when these people come onto the ice field and experience the glacial environment of making measurements, they can see how that ecosystem okay, so is changing this year and in years before. The, the value of that is demonstrated very clearly by the roster of derpers who are now in the scientific community making major contributions to the understanding of how this global environment is changing. So we're leaving Camp 17 right now on the edge of the Juneau ice field, about to cross over Nugget Ridge, past Split Thumb, down into Death Valley, up the Norris Icefall, and onto the southwest branch of the Taku Glacier, where our camp will be for tonight. This is Jeffrey Barbie, reporting from the border between Alaska and Canada on the high ice for Link TV. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.